Just a few more comments on the buffalo horn. It's actually quite thin here and it's got some pretty good thickness on the end. If you cut it in a certain way, it, I can see how this can be used for a spoon or a ladle or even a drinking cup. I cut both of these in that way. So I might just add these to my uh, primitive gear as spoons or ladles. The experiments with the flint napping didn't work very well. Uh, there is still one technique I want to try that was uh, uh, developed by Swoos where he used buffalo horn for pressure flaking. Um, but I'll try that in another video. Uh, what he did was he ground down the tip to a chisel type of tip, kind of flattened and then chiseled and then pressure flaked with that. And it's very comfortable to hold in your hand. I can see how he was doing that, but that'll be later. Oh yeah, I have a uh, pad that I was using for my flint napping. It works good when you have a piece of leather on top of it. It's made of buffalo horn. And I was just using a piece of leather on top of the pad, on top of this horn pad, to do some pressure flaking. It works very well. Maybe I'll demonstrate that in the upcoming video.